That's really fast. Well, All right, green team for this. <clears throat> green team for this best of three match between Cloud and Obo here on Land of Fire is going to be Cloud, and they're going to be running Ohio, Ohio, Des Moines, Salem, Napoli, Shimakazi, Kleber, Ragnar, and Ragnar. And Obo is running Ohio, St. Vincent, Brisbane, Double Des Moines, Double Gearing, Kleber, and Ragnar down. So Brisbane, Ragnar, the pool two picks, St. Vincent, the pool one pick, and then we have a Napoli as a pool one pick, and two Ragnars as the pool two picks. Oh, builds. We have a, yeah, we do have a Lekmot, Kleber on Oboe's side, so that's an interesting side here. It's a, yeah, it's no, a no. fearless brawler build, so... No, we have, have a upset. look. We have a, we, have, we have a Swift and Silence range mod Kleber on Cloud side. I mean, if you're trying to get it somewhere fast. And then we have a range mod EFT Ragnar. I mean, you could pull people over islands. And then we have a range mod Salem. Range mod AFT, that's a lot of range. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. that's like, you can, how much you can shoot the moon. Is it like 17? Is it 18? It's, it's a lot. It's close to 18, right? I don't know, go pull, up, uh, go pull up fitting like, tool. Like, with AFT, you get to 15-6, I think. So, a AFT on top of that is like... Uh, sorry, range mod on top of that? That's a lot. Maybe you just, like, want to shoot something that is completely on the other side of the map for you. And you're just like, hey. Possibly. I mean, that's the thing with Land of Fire's Islands. They usually have some really tricky, like... Structure that you can just spam them from, from weird angles. Anyway, initial deployments over the air cap. The green team are going to be sending Des Moines, Ohio, Salem, Ragnar, and Shimakazi. Salem might actually decide that he's going to make his way to the B cap island. Ragnar is going to be hovering above B. Ohio hovering between B and C. And then Napoli Kleber is their full force at C, actually. And Ovo is running a pretty heavy force towards the A side with Kleber going fast ahead. Giving Des Moines behind it and the St. Vincent taking the super safe route over the H line. Another Gearing Des Moines is just going for the four line island with the Gearing smoking up the Des Moines while the Des Moines is just using radar right away to dissuade any shenanigans. And yeah, on the fun. seaside, yeah, on the seaside we have Wagner, Brisbane, and Ohio with the Brisbane radaring the Kleber that's fast contesting C cap. They might actually uh, prevent the Kleber from getting this cap. Yep, they, get they got resets at least. At least. I don't see a way to re-engage, the Ragnar's just gonna, like, impose on him. So, strangers. Shima. How happy about- Yeah, I was about to say, how happy are you about the Shima cast? Shima! Yes, very happy to see Shima! No, necessarily now the... happy about the Beatles! <clears throat> So basically, um, we are only seeing Shimakazi because Haragum was banned, right? That's how that works, right, strangers? Right, right. That's that's that's, that's how that works, yeah. Please. Please. Look, there's oh, no Kremlin in the game to make fun of Henning, so I'm gonna make fun of you instead. <coughs> well, we have an interesting series of torpedoes coming in from Oh Boy on the Ragnar Shima group, though. That's the gearing torpedoes coming in now, and they will be in range. But, uh, has a nice gap though. She's, she should be fine. And the Shimmer. Yeah. Uh, the Shimmer, if he turns in, might run into one. Nice. He's done uh, now. He, I he think knows, he should be good. He, he should be good. Next one, that's going to be really awkward on his side. But yeah, they it ran them out of range, anyways. And the Clipper gets spotted, so he's now going to take some uh, fire. And this is where this Clipper position is right now. would be very useful because he could have countered the Shimmer spotting and potentially even torped out the Des Moines up there. You remember that one? Yes, Motors no. are heading for the Cloud Ohio though, and they are gonna connect. Uh... That's three targets on the Ohio. Oh, that Ohio. I'm looking at the other Ohio. That's a lot of early health gone. Lucky, luckily, all the two tops hit the bow and the third top hit the stern, so no citadel damage here. Ooh, that is quite lucky though, but there's more torpedoes coming in now. I mean, he is also forced to uh, like pop damage gone here, so he's gonna get spammed. Oh, uh, Obai Kleber uh, popping 
reload boost a little bit too early, the damage control wasn't down yet. And now it's a legendary mod Kleber trying to get a fire in Ohio. That's not gonna happen. However, yeah. he's not alone. Vincent, though, looks like it's gonna yeah. be a torpedo trade. Des Moines and St. Vincent will definitely try to get fires oh, on this Ohio. Oh, the torpedo range on the St. Vincent, though. He doesn't collect a single torpedo. Yeah, it's not Pokemon, yeah. despite having his best interest. God damn it. <laughs> see we had a short trade between Ragnar and Kleber with both taking quite some damage. The Ragnar might have actually eaten a job if I look at the healing potential. No, actually the Ragnar is just down to heals already. So he didn't trade really well. That's really awkward with a Kleber on the other side. Ohio is still suffering by the way, he's burning. I mean that is a very that is a potential kill they have there. And even if they don't kill him, that is a Ohio out of the game for the next five minutes. Actually, the heals are really, really fast on cooldown, so it might just be like three minutes. Uh, fair enough. Oh, that's but a double fire on him. He has damage gone in two seconds, though. And he's gonna have to use that, though, to preserve yep, that. There it, is. there it is. It is a 30 second damage gun, though, so. Hopefully, he doesn't get a refire. He is still spotted. Not spotted, though. Yeah, the Geary is trying to keep him lit as long as possible. Oh, Shimmer! Oh, Shimmer. Uh, looks like he might have a really bad day now. Uh, yeah, he's not having fun. He's very much not having fun here. He's lost his top he's, tubes. He, he, he's, he may actually be perfect. He might he's, die. He's raided, he's raided. And yeah, that's, uh, that's another 30 seconds on this raider as well. Well, the raid, he's gonna get out of raid first. The Clember is reload boosting now, though, to try to get as much damage as possible. Des Moines still has that angle. I it is a let. It is a lag mod Kleber, so damage is not quite as fast as it could be, but still. The Moin still has angles, and the Shimmer sliding the border can't get away, so he just goes down. He did kind of just trade his life for not some good. HP on the Ohio, but it's just not worth it. That's just... That was a throw. I cannot find any real other explanation for that one. He was overextended. Goes already out of the tournament. I'm yeah, gonna leave off. now. Uh, yes. Meanwhile, yeah. on the C cap, Kleber is still trying to contest C. They didn't get the early cap, and since then, Oboy is doing a really good job in preventing them from attempting any further move towards it. Well, Kleber just gets outspotted by the Ragnar, so I don't even know why he's trying. It's also, you know, like a range mod, Kleber. With Swift and Silence, giving it even worse reload. Oh wait, hang on. Is that... No, what? What was that looking at that had range mod? It was a Wagner with range mod AFT. And it was on Cloud side, I think. And we see it, we actually see it right now. It's on the 1-2 line. The Wagner is spamming a Des Moines from like 17.5 kilometers. <laughs> no, it was a Swift and Silence range mod Colbert. I'm looking at it right now, yes. Like, why? Yeah, that range mod doesn't really seem to make much sense with his current positioning. There has to be a reason they chose that, though. Maybe they saw, like, some kind of earlier O-Boy threat that they're not running right now. Oh, like, at this, at this point, you it could be, like, everything. Well, speaking of everything, the Salem on B is uh, everything but on top of an island at the moment. He's trying to reposition himself while being spotted in the open. Yep, and there's a Vincent Salvo coming in. Yeah. Vincent is trying to like, get a Salvo in. Overlooked but... Gets one clip on the bow for a pen. But the Ohio is on the timeline. He doesn't have an angle, I'm pretty sure. Meanwhile, Cloud's second Ohio on the sea cap is suffering as well. He might actually end up eating an Enepikin top as well. Yep. That's really awkward, because that's a lot of critical battleship HP out of the game. Um, was that a flooding? I, I don't know. I, yeah, it is a flooding. It, so that's a lot of damage over time taking right now for 60 seconds. 50 seconds left on the Damacon. 50 seconds on the Damacon. And also 30 seconds on the... He goes dark, actually. He's dead. I think he's gonna... If he doesn't get respawned, he's respawned now. The yes, hearing it, just yeah. catches him on the corner, so I think he's dead. Yep. Yeah, he's also weighed up by the Bisbane. Yeah, so is the Ragnar in the middle. Um... They're gonna focus at Ohio, though. 
There's no way yeah. they're gonna shoot a full HP dog mode. That would just be silly at this point. Well, I does have a year in a second, so that's gonna prolong him further. There's a another fire. Uh, flooding went out, and the I... previous player went out. So the Ohio might get away. He did. He does shot as well. It's a blind server towards the Whisper. Improbable he gets away. He does get a very good hit oh. back in return, though. But that's. I mean, it's a Whisper, and he has a super here, and sort of the damage doesn't really affect Whisper's heal potential at all. Yeah. The Ohio seems to be living, though. He he looks like um, he gets Cloud a Salem, on the other hand, might not be living much longer. No. He, no, he's, he's been getting farmed for a up. while. Yeah, and he has 40 seconds till his next uh, 3D printer. Yeah, he's running a Raider right now, but it's more of a... Of a uh, 10 line? Later. 10 line. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, that uh, all uh, whamming, like whamming flag check. Are you sure about that? Flipper, he's done. <laughs> Are you sure about that? The Ohio is yeah. going down. The Ohio is going down. The Clipper is coming to finish him. Well, yes, but I, I have no idea why the Napoli didn't go for the Wham there. Yeah. That will, like, now the Clipper is gonna lose HP for this. Like, it did, didn't have to use the Clipper here. Wham would have killed. I'm pretty sure. At least been close enough. The Clipper could have poked it down with guns, but. Yeah, but now the Clipper. Yeah, the Clipper lost. Might as well. The Dog Man on Charlie? Slightly awkward position? Oh, he is. He's done. He's toast. He's done. After that, I think so is uh, Cloud. It looks like their uh, their important ships are all gone. Yep, they lost the same in the central position. Um, we saw an Apoli. Really early. Yeah, the Shimmer, the Shimmer death was really unfortunate. He just overstayed. Hard. He overcommitted. He went back. They also ate three tops with their Ohio at the start of the game, and then just follow up focus fire got him really, really low. So there was not really any play playmaking potential for him. And on C, they just got stored out. And then badly traded. The bear's actually just gonna straight up one into the Brisbane here. Oh, just the NES strats that I saw yesterday on this map. No? Okay. He's, uh, he's... Brisbane, are you just stopping into these stops right now? He's got Hydra on. Yeah, so he's seen them. So he's, he's gonna be fine. Even if he takes one, it's not gonna be fatal. He is uh, just Hydra in the Clebear now, so I don't expect this Clebear to live much longer. Well, I mean, it doesn't really That's matter. That Swift in Silence is really paying off right now, isn't it? Yeah, especially since he's going very silent currently. He'll be quietly finding finding a place at the bottom of the ocean sometime soon if the enemy uh, do decide to push him out, which it looks like they are. The Brisbane still a minute of hydro. And I mean, they could literally just angle. yeah. Wagner finds an angle, so that's a dead club. That is indeed a dead club. So uh, there are currently one minute and twenty three seconds left on the clock. If you're Cloud, what do you do to uh, solve this situation we find ourselves in, strangers? Um, shoot the you, water. Yeah, you turn bot side, shoot the water, and just... You surrender. Uh, yeah, you, you literally just go on the tactic link and start discussing the threats for the next map. Do you start molding loudly and blaming people? No. Okay, good. Yes. It's possible you try to avoid that, it's but you need... It's but it's going to happen. You and I both yeah. know it. Yeah. You're gonna point out, like, obvious mistakes that need to be rectified for the next map. Like, the Shimmer overstaying was just a no-go. So, I, the Ohio eating tops, you could argue, was a little bit unlucky with timing. But those timings matter on this map. There's a lot of torpedo angles. Yeah. You really need the, like, a lot uh, of timing angles. Yeah, especially on A, you should expect there to be a billion tops. At the start of the game, especially. Yeah, and like the, the timing torpedoes on this map. That, you know, you bring a shimmer because you want, first of all, the initial timing torpedoes to delay an enemy A push. Which they had a shimmer, but they didn't launch correctly. They it, it looks like the shimmer, either they didn't know about this uh, potential timing threat, or they, I guess you can say, saw the smoke screen going to be and didn't go for this. And then the shimmer just didn't manage to do anything on a. And I think it looked like they put a lot of 
faith in Machima on that side of the map, which is understandable because it's a very useful ship. I'm just going to say something controversial right now. <laughs> Not a lot of people in the competitive scene agree with me, as you can clearly see with the lack of shimmers in the in and around. But uh... the problem with shimmer is it works very well on a kiting flank. Very well on a kiting flank. Problem is we don't really have that many maps with it. Also with a... work decently on just a. It's very even good contested, control. yeah, and even contest flank, it also works decently. Shimmer's I don't think it works that well into that many waders, though. No. Yeah. Shimmer is an awkward ship that requires a lot of patience and skill to play, but it's not really that great of a kiting ship either, because it, it, it okay, you're kiting, what do you do? You can't really, you know, you're not really good at poking destroyers, you're just annoying. That That's really it. Like, a Gnosha mm -hmm. can do the annoying part a lot better than a Shimmer in that regard. You use it because you, you, you have something to back it up. And yes, wanting you, that you... thing to put pressure on people. Like the Shimmer is a mental game ship. You play the mental game on people with torpedoes and threat level, not with upfront damage. And you know, just outspotting everything else and having something that will slap the opposing destroyer when you get pushed by it. Like th that's the idea of what I mean by kite flank. You could pair it with a Venny or something, but Well, maybe not anymore. Venny's kind of dead in this meta. I mean they nerfed the angles on it. Like, in my opinion, the Shimmer really is all about... Like, it, it doesn't fit. It's not a kiting ship. It's not a pushing ship. It's not really a utility... Like, it, it is a utility ship, right? Like, in all fairness, it is a utility ship. But it's not a utility ship in the sense of being smoke or radar. It's a utility ship in terms of the meta game. You're playing the mental game on people. You're playing the timing game on the map. This is the thing that you're playing on it. Not... We're not talking the upfront alpha damage and firing angles and dpm like none of that is relevant to shimmer what are you saying that shimmer doesn't have good talk for dpm oh let's 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 no, no, just shut up no, don't okay. tri don't trigger the dangers oh. but talk everybody knows dpm is like <laughs> uh... but what about battleship dpm henning that one only matters depending on what caliber we are talking about. But uh, the I... DPM of uh, Grossa Kofus using a small gun of a pink gun. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. And of course we're ignoring factors like if you use the small guns, you need to actually like, keep firing to keep that DPM up. And also you're going to be lit more often compared to the time you're going to be dark. And also, your pen is a bit different, which can matter here and there, and your ballistics are a little bit different, even though that's, I think there's like almost no difference there between the 420 and the 406s. It, there's like so much more difference than just the DPM. Yeah, but funny yeah, meme number. Spamming a G. Funny meme number. Like, but if you want to talk about number. battleship DPM, then the like Conqueror HE is probably, yeah, you can argue with DPM there. We're going. I, in all fairness, not even there. I mean, the thing is, with Conqueror, you know, you hit the shell, you're probably going to do damage with that shell. Where, really? No. I mean, the problem with DPM in general is that nobody seems to consider what effective DPM really is. No, we don't talk about effective DPM. We talk about raw DPM. Big number. But if you went by raw things. DPM, all, like, what, all night, 16 ships would have been dead five minutes into the game. Exactly, and just clearly nobody knows how to play it properly. Like, I have a million DPM in my Colbert. A million. Uh, Why is uh, nobody playing Colbert? You can Where use are the... that million DPM for a grand total of three seconds before the enemy battleships makes you go poof. Not exactly. You yep. also, you know, DPM requires you to like hit stuff. And then penetrate stuff and then get citadels. And then penetrate stuff and then not get overpens or shatters or bounces. One or... million DPM. And then if you even pen and don't get sits, there's also stuff like saturation going on. One and module, million DPM. 
And if you shoot AP, there's one million. You know, there's also fire damage that is like not even factored into the base DPM value at all. And it's also exactly. Like, it's even it's higher than one million DPM. And, and you're supposed to be on my side. And fire damage is also dependent on the shit you shoot at, so you don't even know how much DPM you're actually doing. Well, well, it's simple. What we do is we wait for the tier 20 ships to come out with 100,000 HP in each, like, fire tick. But then your million DPM is, like, nothing if they have, like, tw 20 million HP. One million DPM, straight. I don't know what part of this you're not getting. But the enemy ships have, like, armor to stop you from damaging them. Well, and they, like, yeah, but, but one million. They're also going to have a... They're also gonna have a fire resistance coefficient of like eighty percent at that point. Sure. One million DPM though. Surely you trust. We trust. One million. The super DPM. ships actually have a higher fire resistance coefficient, right? Yes. Why is that a thing at all, by the way? That that, that thing is that coefficient is documented literally nowhere. We just know it exists because it's on the wiki. Uh, it's on the wiki. In game. Hello? Henning? Overmatch doesn't game exist is... in the game client. Like, I know. No way in, in, in the game, game will you I mean, find the game, word Overmatch. There's not even a documentation about Autobahn's angles of Des Moines or anything like that. I still remember back when in patch 0 0.3.3 when they first, in, like, where they swapped the, like, the AP and the angle stuff. But they didn't introduce overmatch, so you had gearings, bow tanking Yamatos and not taking damage. Except on the main guns, because main guns had zero HP. So you just find gearings and like eight like eighty percent HP with no gun turrets left because they bow tanked the Yamato. That sounds hilarious. It was, it was stupid. Can we uh, go so back to know? those days when there's no overmatch? Isn't that when we had spalding damage? Yeah, when you had like a gearing hitting somebody for 21 damage! Oh, I remember that when I was playing the closed beta, no! On top was HE splash damage! So you could land a battleship HE next, next to a DD and do like 50 damage! Arguably, I want HE splash damage back, but only for modules. It still exists for modules. That, that exists no, because... No, 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 no. The way it works is it doesn't have a coefficient with a fall-off distance in the same way that the submarine depth charges work right now. I want... If you're further away, you take less damage on your modules, rather than just, oh, you're in the cube, take the full amount. Anyway, we're going into game number two here on North. Look, module damage is fucked anyway, so... Yeah, our modules are anyway, yeah, fucked. Get low rolled, let's motherfuckers! Just go... Yeah, let's just Yo. go to the game. Yo! What were the bands, actually? What were the bands? I didn't oh, see. Oh, my dear lord. Yes! Okay, well... What were the bands, please, before I go into this um, mess? Um, Kremlin. So, Cloud Ban Haragumo. And Old oh Boy Ban I just realized I'm owing Painzo and Solitude 5 subs now. Why? Did it, did because he has, a, he has a fucking Mecklen book in my game. Yep. Alright, so th that's not the only thing that's in this game. So, here we are in game number two on North. And the green team are going to be running. Why? Ohio, St. Vincent, Stalingrad, Stalingrad, Sevastopol, Khabarovsk, Khabarovsk, Grozovoy, the Daring, Henning... Do we have a Mecklenburg? Do we need to, like, go through Yes, the yes, you do. Okay, we have a Vincent, a Brisbane, a Des Moines, a Salem, two Gearings, a Daring, a Rockland, and also there's a Mecklenburg, but I don't know why. I have two Khabarovsk and a fucking Sevastopol. I also don't know why. Uh... Give me a second. Right, so if you have never seen uh the if you've never seen this like Sevastopol before, um its gimmick is it has a what's called a zombie heal. And I don't mean like the same as the Shimikaze zombie heal. I mean this thing just heals forever, but a very, very low amount. It also has an engine boost, which is already over, because it's an emergency engine boost, which lasts for like zero amount of time. Yes. So anyway, Sevastopol's build. There, go look at it. Question it. <laughs> Engine boost module included. Uh, yes. Apparently there's some shots out already at stuff. Uh, that's a heavy AP Stalingrad. I just did my deed. 
Look, I don't think uh, Payne's as shit remembers. Well, <laughs> Star and Guard took a sit from a Vincent here, right at the start of the game. Yeah. No, no daring smoke to try to get him in there safely. Yep. Oh. That, is not Wait, what? that is not a safe approach. I think we actually no. had like openings on Penta's threats where we just completely exploit that approach. Like, regardless of what's going there, right? Oh yeah, you exploit that in the fort. You exploit the four line as well. Yeah, yeah that's what uh, I mean. Like, we have like a smoke drop on the three four line to spam that immediately. That battleship spark gets a six seven line to like aim at the reverse spot, and this guy just yeah. dies. I'm comparing the two Cabros builds, and it hurts. Like one of them's running. Wait, what? We have that's... AFT legendary mod reload mod, and we have okay. One is running acceleration mod. One is running water mod. That's running on different captains. Yeah, that's what was bothering me. Like, he took the... He took his Nomensky for the improved prevent and maintenance instead of the Retcom for improved survivability expert. I'm confused by it. Anyway, yeah, Stalingrad's getting farmed. Yeah, both of them are getting farmed. <laughs> yes. But here's the thing. Cloud is sending, like, a massive DD blob towards A, so one needs to be a little bit careful about that because Brisbane... Like, you can wait at these levels, but you can't really damage them at all. So, Henning, like, uh, as the resident battleship expert, what does a Mecklenburg do against two Kabarovsks? I don't know! <laughs> it's a Mecklenburg! What is it doing here? Spamming HE at Kabarovsks, most likely. I mean, it's currently merrily having a go with the Stalingrad. Oh. Yeah, uh, the Brisbane found the Gorge of Ireland and took a small chunk out of it. I pulled a small chunk. Yep, still taking chunks out of it. Vader is now down, but that hurt. That's a lot of damage. Does Brisbane shatter on cover? Yes. It's a 50 millimeter it's belt. Well. Everything shatters there if it's not a Hindenburg. Oh, oh. I have HD Henry, but we, we don't talk about I have HD Henry. Yeah, it's. IFHE. Well, I mean, IFHE had Napoli. Uh, could have done something to the Stalingrad in the middle, but it's actually pretty bad day. Is IFHE Henry even enough nowadays? IFHE got enough, right? It's only 25%. I'm not even sure if Henry gets to 50 oh, at that point. You don't get 50 anymore, but I don't think that's necessary because Squirrel is. Uh, um, and yeah. Ohio not having good days here. He is getting murdered. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Stalingrad, 50, uh, 60 seconds fire duration with a triple fire running right now. I, I wondered where the Sevastopol had went. Uh, it turns out he's uh, in Narnia. He's in Narnia, he's being chased he's away by Gearing Salem. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yep. Um, is this Stalin just gonna die for these fires? No, he has, yes. he has damage cannon in 5 seconds. He's Damacon right, right real soon, and his heal is countering some of that damage. My god, this stun is just gone. I mean, and the second stun is just pushing up, but... And he's shooting still. And he took another sit from the Vincent, who was paying attention. Um, meanwhile, Cloud's... Cloud's Vincent... Ooh! Brisbane mega. just got Devstrog, nearly. He is... He's running his heal, and... The opponent sees his plumber spotted now. He has no way out. So Andrad like, Salvo coming in, that yeah, might be the finisher. Real soon though, yep. but he goes down before. Yeah, they do get the kill. Vincent is gonna eat tops here though. The question is how many it is. He's collecting one it's, because I yeah, it's, it's not only gonna be once, but that's gonna force a heal out for sure. Danga might die here, right? There's no way he gets away with that with the same Vincent behind him as well, so he can't go anywhere. He's stuck. Yep. And the Moyne radar is still another 30 seconds with this much fire, like daring firepower. Actually, the daring can't. The daring is actually getting pressured away. So if the daring doesn't get like all the fires right now, well, DCP's running. Because running. Because DCP ends. ends. Stalin's DCP ends. If there's a fire now, the Stalin probably dies. Uh, heal up in nope. three seconds. So no, he'll survive. Mecklenburg does not fire on that though. 
He's busy farming the other Stunning Riders that are finishing the low HP. I don't think he's in range. Is he in range? What's the range of that thing? Not I 30. Don't I don't know. I don't, I'm not playing this thing. I don't have this. I don't have this trip. Alright, Stalingrad Where takes a fire. Um, there's a conga line coming for the Vincent. There is. The Vincent is reversing, so he, he might... He's collecting. He's collecting. He's collecting. Ow, 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 he ow. He's 100% collecting those. He does live, oh, really. Nice, he is, he's in a perma flat, though. He's dead. No heal available. Yeah, no heal, no damage card. He is going. Hey, Meanwhile, finally taking damage. Yep. Yes. And, Narnia. And, he and considering the Salem is still full HP, I think he did no damage in return. Has he even seen any of these guys? He, he can't even see them because Gearing's. No, the, the Salem's high. never been spotted. The Clouds of Ohio is also suffering quite a bit. There's a Vincent Des Moines spamming him. Clouds, everything is suffering. Yeah. Yeah. They did. They did find the oh boy the Darian mid though, which is still trying to kill this uh, Starling. But this time he might just be overextending a little bit. He does get the perma fire on the start until the Starling just goes down. Starling right is going to go down, but he's going to lose his life in five seconds when the Starling guard radar comes online from the other guy. Gros Cobb Cobb have found the gearing. He's still gearing is dark again. He's, so okay. he'll get away with that. They don't have a radar, so they have to just they're relying on running that down. The Which I'm um, gonna commit to running that down though. There's apparently they are, yes. radar coming out, they're finding the garage boy behind the smoke screen. But the gearing um, is part of well, he doesn't run. So they're gonna lose the What is this focus fire? Garage boy is shooting the rag, you know? Okay, Garage Boy's finally started to uh, swap over to the gearing, so they're choosing to concentrate on the gearing first. Yeah, Garage boy dies though. And the Kabos is forced to angle in because of incoming torpedoes. They are going to trade for the gearing. Yeah, and the so Kabos can escape. They can use the smoke screen against them. The gearing smoke screen is fresh. I don't think the front Kabos can. He's already around that, and the, uh, the Wagner is spotting him. And Mecklenburg HE doing a lot of damage here. That's just cloud. That, like, I that's did not him. expect to say that ever in my life. Yeah. Well, now you have to. But still, like, he could have gone left and been behind that smoke screen. He was another salvo out. Another Mecklenburg salvo coming in. One hit, Not fine. doing that much, but it is a permafire. So he's forced to disengage for now. Meanwhile, in Narnia. <laughs> Cloud is controlling the B cap, though, and they do have a 300 <laughs> po uh, point advantage currently. This Sebastopol is not having fun. Yeah, but. Cloud ships are just suffering for this. I mean, the HP, it's a, two, it's a double like, advantage HP. What is the double advantage in points? Copium? But map control. Pizza slices. Yeah, yeah. the problem is Cloud is about to lose at least two ships. This is a fast pull is dead. He just doesn't realize it yet, I guess. I think he did realize it yet, it just takes a while. Yeah. The Ohio is also just dead. He's just getting run down by a Vince and there's nothing anyone can do to stop that. And I don't know if Cloud's forces have any remaining strength to push this Mecklenburg Wagner further. Like they're trying. They don't have a choice but to keep that up. The unfortunate part is they never manage to get the daring out. Also, those Depth charge bombers I see running around? Yes. They're legal, don't worry about it. Okay, they're legal. Well, Cursed Suffering is truly suffering now. They find the Nagin died, but. Yeah, Sebastian. Oh, uh... oh gets gearing it. It took yeah, a fun. while. Kabos trying desperately to get damage on this Wagner. The Wagner is dropping low, but this Kabos will return. Like, they're not the splitting fire. They split their fire. Yeah, Ragnar down to 2k HP, down to 1.3. More blind fire coming in, but they're going yeah. high now. Not going anywhere. Magnebook okay. Cyber coming, going for the low HP Chaos, who's already on a perma fire here. He goes down to 1.3k, does find a damage gun now, so he's gonna live for now. You have weird definitions of perma fires, by the way. 
Yeah, I thought. He wasn't oh, well. damage going the fire yet. I guess he was just holding damage gun, which makes sense. Daring fight might happen soon, though. Ragnar opens fire. Is Curse suffering? I try to collect that. Oh, God. Yo. Mecklenburg collected the Kabarosk. So, um, yeah, this 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 was a game. But here's the thing, Mindwise Cloud is still ahead. Just they're kinda running out of ships. Kind of? Like, like they have, have a literal full HP Des Moines and a literal full HP Gearing. He's full HP! It's fine. Cloud has like 50,000 HP left to work with. Yeah, that's only like a quarter of the opposing heat team. See a problem. It's only like the HP of the Vincent. And the Vincent has here left while Cloud ships don't. Actually, the Cloud still has here. The Daring can potentially clean up the opposing Daring. Potentially. I mean, he will get Seeker potentially if the Salem don't respond to that. But AP. he's gonna have a Ragnar hot on his heels. Yeah, well, the Ragnar can go down too. Yeah. But. At the moment, he's bleeding because his smoke just expired. Oh no, never mind. Was the other smoke expired, so he does get the conceal. Starling oh, right. to going to St. Vincent. Ohio oh, should finally end. go down. Never mind, 60 HP. Can can you find. St. Vincent just give a lot of more to this Ohio. He did. Uh, he gets super punished for it. Doesn't get punished too hard, and now there's a. The Stalingrad having a situation. Yes. That is Wiggly. definitely a situation. Wiggly's to the front, the to the back. Here he is. Bless you! Oh, bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Death. And now... There's nothing. Cloud can any, uh, can't do anymore. They're gonna take C here, but I mean, they're gonna lose A. There's no point advance anymore. The Garbaros is opening out on the Mecklenburg. Ragnar finds a daring now. He's in a Venn diagram of radars right now. He's ever increasing Venn diagram of radars. He does trade the Ra Ragnar for it though. I think I've made that Venn diagram of death joke several times. <laughs> it's my yes. favorite one. <laughs> Look, Venn diagrams are the best di diagrams. Don't tell that to the histogram people. And Cure Suffering is finally surrendering. So this game is over and it goes into Oh Boy's favor, which means this series is also going to end 2-0. We have a really fast uh, series today. Uh, didn't start with the first one? Did it? No. No. No, I didn't. I don't think so. You, oh boy, won both games. You just set the wrong person. Epic. Well, congratulations to Oh Boy. They will be the one joining the EU squad on the internationals next week. And Cloud, congratulations to you for the sixth place in this King of the Sea regional tournament. So, only grand finals left? Yeah, but huh? obviously, well, you're forgetting that we have 6 to 10 working days before we actually get the uh, grand final on. Because uh, EU official, you know. Unlucky. It's fine, what could possibly go wrong? We are here with the World of Warships, the Thinking Man's 